Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon X. No healing in battle, revenge wedlock challenge. In the last episode, we made our way through, what is it, Route 12? Route 14, I almost said 14. Reaching Lavera City, hatching two more mystery eggs for reaching this city. And that's about it. We didn't get to do a whole lot, but we made it to the next gym town which is what we'll be doing today, facing off against our sixth gym challenge. I can't believe we're already on the sixth gym versus Valerie, the fairy type gym leader. So I want to explore Levera first because of stuff like this, this guy goes boing boing like the mushrooms and gives me the torment TM. Didn't know that existed, but we've got the torment TM and we already got this item back here. But yeah, I'm sorry for the lack of upload uh, last Tuesday. If you're watching this when it comes out, I missed an upload for the first time in a while. I've been having trouble with my mouth. I cut my tongue because I uh, chipped one of my back teeth. Uh, the tooth's still chipped. It doesn't hurt, but I'm going to try and be a little more careful when speaking so I don't cut my tongue again until I can get that sorted. But I'm feeling a lot better right now. Still might be sounding just slightly different, but probably not at all. I don't think I sound any different right now. I'm pretty much talking as normal, maybe with like a slight difference i suppose but the first thing i want to do before we end up going in the gym because there's not much to explore here is i want to get our encounter um not really yeah i'm not gonna be able to weaken it i'm just gonna put nuku up front because nuku would take the least amount of damage it's gonna be level 15 polywag it's the only thing you can find here when fishing with the old rod if you use the good rod you can find a basculin i like basculin but i want a polywag so i'm just gonna use the old rod and guarantee myself a polywag for Lavare City, because that's my encounter. There we go. Perfect timing, I tell you what. Just took a tad longer to appear. Fishing in this game sucks. I hate it so much. But yeah, a female volleyball. Hello. We've got a female in the PC. It has been a while. Get in the quick ball. I have no time for you. Volleyball. And I already have a name for it because I picked this out a long time ago. I'm pretty certain it's what I named my Polly Whirl. In the X and well, in the Y wedlock that we did before this, the one we're getting revenge on, you know, you know the one. I'm pretty certain it's the same name, um, and I don't even actually know that. It's just I feel like I did this before. You know what I mean? Also, Polywag's silhouette, its little mouth, that was funny. <laughs> Nobody saw what I was talking about. Anyways, Polywag's a tadpole Pokemon. It's slick black skin. Excuse me. It's it's blue. <laughs> Wait, is there like? Excuse me? I'm genuinely confused. Is Are its feet black underneath? And I have no idea. Anyways, its slick black skin is thin and damp. A part of its internal organs can be seen through the skin as a spiral pattern. I'm genuinely confused. Is the spiral the black skin they're talking about? That's possible, actually. If you guys know what they're talking about, let me know. Or is it a typo? <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> Anyways, the name I'm giving this polywag... Um, is from our naming list of Survivor Tribes, of course. It is from Season 4 of U.S. Survivor Marquesas, and it's the Tahitian word meaning rain. I gotta use it on a polywag. That tribe name in the name I'm giving this polywag is Rotu. We have Rotu, the polywag. I like it. I'm happy with it. And I guess it's kind of fitting because I believe the winner of that season was female. Yes, it was. She was. You know what I mean. Let's go check out Rotu really quick. Nah, she wasn't from the Rotu tribe, though. Unfortunate, but what can you do? I had the name picked out. Not going to change it now. Wait, didn't wasn't there a frog one? There was a frog one. Or did I use that last episode? Hold up. There was a frog one. Yeah, I used it. Rana. What did I name Rana? Oh, yeah, I named you Rana. Hey, I guess that works. <laughs> there we go. All right, we've got another female. It's adamant and damp. Why? <laughs> I'm so disappointed. You can have water absorb and you're adamant. I'm disgusted. Wait, polyrath exists. Do we actually have a polyrath? I will do it. Polyrath sounds so cool. Like, I like it a lot. There's a lot of cool water types in here, though. Why couldn't you have been male? The only other water type in here, aside from Moto, is 
this and I wasn't gonna use that. So <laughs> it's fine. I'm happy with my polywag. I was like, wait, poly toad in mind, right? But polyrath exists, even though nobody's thought of polyrath in a really long time. I can't remember the last time I went and you know thought to myself, polyrath. <laughs> Never. Like I can't. That's 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 the sentence. Can't remember the last time that Pokemon ever has entered my mind space. Anyways, we can't go east of here. He won't let us. Excuse me? <laughs> Can you? No, they won't let you. It's these losers. Dude, they stand out so much. It's like one of my little sayings. Um, You guys know, know how in like Pokemon anime or like just maybe anime in general, the characters in the background are all drawn the same, but then the main characters, you know, look unique because they're the main characters so they're done that that way they do it that way to stand out right like that's what team flare looks like right here and i actually i kind of use that like to describe myself in a way because i'm really weird and different so like I, I i use that as a good a, a clever way of explaining myself because you know i i, I stand out <laughs> to say the least all right um anything no 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 items in here i think all we have is the gym I'd be lying to you if I said I felt comfortable for the gym. Oh, she gives me something. That's right. No, one of you do. It's like, yeah, there's a team flare grunt over here. No, it's this girl. Yeah, what do you give me? Oh, a Gengar Eye. That's right. I have no use for this. I will sell it. I don't actually think I can sell it, but you know what I mean. Can you sell that? I'm not going to bother. Not going to waste your time. What do you, the building that's part of the biggest tree in town is the Lavera Pokemon Gym. Yeah, like this. This gym was designed to stand out from this. Like if this was the gym and this was like, a flower garden? That would make any sense. Like, it would make sense, but it would look stupid. This is just some guy's house. Wait, is this where you get the pledge moves? I think, maybe? I've never had a use for them. Yeah, I don't have it, unfortunately. Nobody on my team can learn a battle pledge move. My my Quilladin died some time ago, unfortunately. Man, I'm still mad about the Maramu death. He'd probably still be here, and he'd be a chestnut. If I didn't have the worst luck I've had in a Pokemon game in, like, a really long time. I can't recall a time that I had worse luck. This is the girl that gives me something. What? There's somebody here that gives you something. <laughs> um, I don't have a Pokemon bigger than nine feet tall. It's unfortunate to tell you this. Who's my tallest Pokemon? Kucha, maybe? I couldn't tell you. Doesn't matter. King Cow, you're going up front. But this gym, I'm not confident about. I don't really have a clear counter, per se, for poison. Now, nah, wait, for, for fairy. Nah, I'm not paying. Believe me. <laughs> um, but my, I have a poison type. So you might be thinking, well, you're great, right? But my poison type doesn't have a good poison move. The best King Cow gets is Venoshock right now. I can't get cross poison for a while. Yeah, of course my Crobat likes me. It's it's a Crobat, <laughs> right? You can't have a Crobat unless it's... Wait, this is the fan club? Wait a second. This is where you get the effort ribbon? Who would have an effort ribbon here? Bion! No, it would be Vakama. Vakama, oh my god. It would be Vakama. Vakama, please. It's Vakama. We've, we've cemented this. It's just, it's still making an effort. That makes me upset. I mean, to be fair, Bion has fought the most, right? Bion, if you are not worthy of an effort ribbon, I'm going to be disappointed. Also, I feel like I should train for the gym trainers now that I'm thinking about it. I really don't want to, but the level limit's 40, and we're not even close to that. <laughs> um, That's my safest bet. Did I go in this house yet? I feel like I did. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't go in here yet. What do you have for me? An incense of some kind? A spell tag? Oh, she tells me about my gym badges. I love this character in the Pokemon games, especially when it's like in a weblock. Yeah, I don't have that badge. <laughs> the bug badge. You got that with Litleo, Panseer, Glammeow, and Chespin. I remember the days. Oh, the cliff badge with my Ammonite and Cherubi. I was ready for anything, and it's the saddest thing. And then I got the Rumble Badge with Crobat and Zipstrika. You're gonna see a trend here. <laughs> uh, everything. 
with Croat and some strike gun. Listen, it's not my fault. You guys are the ones that said, use Crobat. And I did. <laughs> so, I probably do need to train. Nah! Listen, I want to. I want to, but the level limit's... See, my issue is the level limit's 40. But the level limit should be 42. Meaning, these trainers are going to have Pokemon that are probably level 40. We're not even close to 40. I'm thinking getting everybody to 38, 39 is my best play. So I'm going to do that. I think that's just the safest thing to do. So I'm going to go train. I'll be back in a second. Oh, all right. I have trained, but not a lot. I don't want to end up over leveling in the gym. There's pretty high level Pokemon. I'm guessing they're going to give good experience. So I got everybody around 38. Uh, Kucha and Nuku are only 37, but with the experience share on, they'll get more experience. And they're not going to be fighting, probably. Uh, probably doing all of this with Bion and King Cow. There's no reason not to. My only concern is I know there's a Slurpuff in the gym. It obviously concerns me that it might have Thunderbolt. You never know. <laughs> I think I know which trainer has the Slurpuff, so I'll try and do that one with Bion. But here's the Laver City Gym. Let's talk to the champion making guy and see what he has to tell us. Well, howdy, Miss Pouty. Does he say something different if you're the guy? Probably not. Mr. Pouty, maybe? Who knows? What's new, future champ? This here, Laver City Pokemon Gym has some truly confounding conundrums. The first shocker here is a fairy type gym. Bet you've never seen one of these before. Well, actually, <laughs> the Galar region, yeah, they didn't age well. The second shocker is how you get around. Hop on one of the warp panels and off you go. But where you land, nobody knows. Yeah, they're all fixed. Of course, I was going to say that, but he said it for me. Do these say anything? Lampposts? Nope. No certified trainers. Nobody's ever beat this gym. Ever. I'm going to be the first to do it. Let's go. Um, I think she's the Slurpuff one or the one in the room above her. This reminds me so much of that old game show. Oh, what was that? I, I think I talked about this last time. But this room, this whole gym has always reminded me of, um, there was this old game show on, like, Nick Gas, where there was this house that you'd tear apart. I thought it was this room, or this or the, maybe the one above. There's not as many trainers in here as I thought. I'll be completely honest. Watch me find Valerie immediately. I don't like this. <laughs> um, what are the chances she actually has Thunderbolt? I would give you a Wackenberry, but I don't think she does. Yeah, Bion getting hit with, like, a Moonblast is more threatening. I mean, not more threatening. You know what I mean. All right, she looked up to Valerie so much, she came here to learn from her? Well, I've come here to beat Valerie, so if I have to beat you to get to Valerie, you're done, Linnea. She has aromatics. Okay, um, that's, that girl artwork looks so much like a girl I went to school with, and it doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah, level 40. That's absurdity. They have a lot of special defense. I think acrobatics without an item is going to do more than Venishock ever could. It's not a lot. Oh, now it won't. It's using charm. Okay, that's fine. I didn't think about that. A lot of the Pokemon in here are probably going to have charm. That scares me. <laughs> like, that scares me a lot. Let's see how much Venishock does. Probably not even half of what acrobatics did. Eh, it did about the same. <gasps> it scared me to death, man. Yeah, I didn't think it'd be that bad. Flail's terrifying when they're at that low of HP, but I mean, it's Aromatis, so we're, we're fine. She only needs one Pokemon. That's it for Linnea. Okay, I feel a little more comfortable, but I also don't, because now I have to keep in mind Charm. I don't like that, man. Venoshock is not going to be good. Actually, King Cow's not really my star for this fight. I'm pretty sure Bion's going to be my my leader for this fight. That's why I don't think this is as clean cut as it looks. I really do think somebody could end up dying here. Did I still not buy items? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Oh boy. How many rare candies do I have? I have one. I'm not going to bother wasting it. Probably. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> what is that called? I got to Google it. It's important. It's for science. No, not Brawl Stars. <laughs> Accidentally opened that instead. The mind wants what it wants. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm good. All right. Um, old game show. Some be, somebody's out there. Like, I know what it's called. In a house. Like, no other. No, not Big Brother. Um, old kid game show. 
Finders Keepers, that's what it was. I didn't even look it up. I just remembered it was called Finders Keepers. Don't judge me. <laughs> it was, I, I'm sitting there typing, like trying to word it and then it came to me. It was Finders Keepers. Anyways. <laughs> oh man, nobody in my audience saw that show. They're too young. I was too young for it. It had already come and gone before I was born, but like I watched reruns. I think, I think it was like mid nineties when that show was on. Anyways. King Cat, I'm ready. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be. Should I give you a citrus berry? No, that's a mistake. I would like to take a seat before I fight you. Can you sit in this? Man, Marilyn was hyped for benches, but he never talked about this bench, as far as I'm aware. He's not a man of taste. I'm, I'm just, a, it's a joke. I'm sure, it, I'm sure he talked about the bench. Oh, um, it is a pretty bench. I'll give you that. It's gold plated. Cali. Oh my God. It's like memories of my youth. She has to both. Dedenne. No! No! <laughs> what? I forgot Dedenne was a fairy type. This is not what I wanted to see. And you don't have motor drive! Bion. I can't lose King Cow and Bion to the fairy gym. I'm gonna, man. Do something stupid, please. Charge me. I mean, that's bad because it could raise its special attack, but it won't do very much damage at least. And it did raise its special attack. That's lovely. Um, well, I guess we flame charge it. Can I get static? <laughs> I will be very disappointed. That does like nothing. Oh, charge beam can miss. I have a citrus berry. I'll be okay. For some reason, I was about to double kick it. My brain went dark type. <laughs> no, that's about the exact opposite. Rest. Dude, if this thing has a Chesto Berry, I'm actually done. I'm over it. <laughs> if you have a Chesto Berry, I'm over it. All right, so that actually doesn't matter unless it has Snore. If it has Snore, we're gonna lose Bion and King Cow. Oh, that's a scary thought. Please do not have Snore. I'll be so mad. They gave it Snore! Oh. God, with that special attack boost, that's so much damage. Surely her other Pokemon. Surely her other Pokemon is an electric type as well. So like if I absolutely have to, I can do that with King Cow. This sucks. Wow. I don't know what to do. It's a big decision. See my the AI is incredibly likely to use Charge Beam because it's gonna wake up. But the AI is also dumb enough to try to use Snore again. But if it does use like a fairy move or something, it kills by on here. I can't believe this is what is gonna happen. Yeah, I have to Flame Charge because it's, it's attack, it's special attack is plus two. Um. It's special dex plus two. If I switch into Kang Kao and it uses charge beam, she's dead. I have to flame charge it. I can't believe it's all because you don't have bulldoze. Why do you have discharge? Oh. I can't believe I'm gonna lose Bion here. I might. I very well might lose Bion here. Please use Snore! Oh, that's not what I wanted to see. It's actually not horrific. We might be able to make it out of this. I can't believe what arresting Dedenne is doing this to me right now. I have to make this play. I'd rather lose them both than lose one. I'm, I have to do it. I can't believe Kang Cow and Debion could die here. Venoshock has to do over half, and Snore has to do less than half. That's a sick thought. Okay, Snore ain't crap. Thank God. <laughs> Please be faster. Thank you. Thank God. No sleep talk! Thank God, I was like, wait a second. What if it sleep talks? If we're not out of the woods yet, she's got another Pokemon. I was, what if it used sleep talk and you charged me? Oh my God. My heart, yeah, that would have killed me. Look how much Snore did. 
we're not out of this, is the stupid part. She could very well have, like, a level 40 Slurpuff and just crap all over me right now. Oh, please be something stupid. Don't be another Dedenne. It's a Zoomerill. Yikes. <laughs> oh, there's so much that could go wrong here. Rick. <laughs> I don't know what to do. We're obviously faster. And if it has Ice Punch, what was I supposed to do, right? I know Bion's super effective, but look at his health. There's no way he one-shots an Azumarill. I don't believe it. I don't. I absolutely refuse. It could use Rollout, which would be ideal on either of them, but it's more likely to use something like Rollout against Kang Kao. I don't see it doing 61 hit points to Kang Kao, and I think we can two-shot it. I'm not sending Bion in. I won't do it. This is Kang Kao's fight. Mm. Yeah, Play Rough would rip Bion in half right now. Confuse Ray is also a play, but I'm not willing to risk that. I'm going acrobatics. Good. Oh, Rick, that's King Cow. Yes! Please, King Cow! Oh my god, my heart dropped. It could have Aqua Jet. Oh, oh my god! The training. It did it. I made the right play. Aqua Tail killed by on there. I had to stay in. I had to make that risk. It could have had Aqua Jet. What would have I done though? I would have. It didn't matter. Bion would have died to Aqua Jet, or at least two of them. I'm gonna quit the episode. <laughs> oh, I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. Oh, screw that for that one. Holy. All my neighbors aren't happy. <laughs> it's two in the morning. <laughs> no. You are getting a citrus berry. It is a berry gym. I don't need acrobatics. <laughs> oh. Frickity frick frick. <laughs> What's that from? That's from something. Ah. Oh. I don't feel very good. <laughs> I don't feel good at all after that fight. I know they're Sterla Slurpuff. Why? Why did they have to do this? I think there's just one more trainer. There's just one more. There's just two more. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Guys, would you forgive me? <laughs> I didn't do this today. Oh. You get poison jab. Am I losing it? Yes, hello phone. Am I am I losing my mind? Would poison jab be a good play here? I might be losing it, just the dad. Yeah, your special defense is kind of unfortunate. So it's yours. <laughs> Everybody's special defense. Actually, I think Nuku might be the play. Twister would be super effective as well. I'm joking. I didn't lose my mind that bad. Everybody's panic mode. Uh, all right. My concern is Slurpuff having Thunderbolt. Does Slurpuff actually even learn Thunderbolt? How about we check that? Like... I don't see a problem looking that up before I start the fight. She might not even have a Slurpuff. And this could put away some fear of mine. Does Slurpuff learn Thunderbolt? Slurpuff does indeed learn Thunderbolt. <laughs> Slurpuff gets thunder. <laughs> oh my god. Now I'm just more and more worried. Slurpuff gets Endeavor. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Okay, Slurpuff does not get Thunder in Gen 6. Yeah, King Cow can take a Thunderbolt. 
Everything inside me wants to take that stupid citrus berry off. Fight me. Oh no! <laughs> It'll feel good. Alright, she's not the one with the slur buff. Or if she is, I'm in I'm in I'm in danger. <laughs> Plethki. Alright. Everything is not good for poison, I've noticed. I don't like that. Um you have nothing. So, I'm gonna switch. I don't like doing that, because you could use something stupid against me, again, but at least Flame Charge is super effective. That's perfect. I am not gonna use any of your moves, Klefki. Thank you for the free switch! That's also fine. Torment's fine. I'm not upset. Now I know you have Prankster, though. Which also does- it does kind of upset me. So... Surely... Surely Spark's enough, right? Spark does more than Discharge. You have way more attack. It's not that much weaker. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. Okay. What's next? We took out the Klefki. No damage. Curlia. Yeah, we're not switching. <laughs> oh my god. Everything kills poison. Have you noticed? Everything... Yeah, everything just ruins... Unfortunately. Also, I'm gonna go Discharge. I'm not going Flame Charge. I don't need it. And I want the, I want the raw power for this thing. Spark would be better, but remember, we're tormented. Heh! <laughs> Sap Sipper did something. All right, I want the speed because I know we'll kill it because of the attack moves. I can't believe Sap Sipper mattered. Now, I know that Slurpuff has Energy Ball, so maybe Bion will just wall it. Maybe that's the play. But then again, Moonblast does the big damage. <laughs> I would rather not. Um... And... Not feeling too good, but... I'll be honest. Um, King Cow is going to do it because it very likely has, like, Bulldoze. I could see that. I mean, if it did, she would have sent it out first, probably. Um, but, and it could have Ice Fang as well. Not going to one-shot. Even if it crit, probably. I'm just going to go Venom Shock because, remember, I gave you a Citrus Berry. I almost did a stupid. Venom Shock does more when you're holding a Citrus Berry. Lick. That's nice. I probably still outspeed it if it paralyzes me, which is kind of funny. I wanted to see that happen. Stop. Why are you making a mockery of yourself? It's not necessary. Just fight the Grand Bull. Don't say stupid things and move forward stronger. <laughs> Level 40 for gank out. All right, we don't have to train you, which is just nice. And you're not hitting 41 from a slurp off. I'm not. Like, that's not going to happen. Thanks for the fight, Blossom. That still leaves the slurp off girl. I would be lying to you if I, did, if I said that didn't have any concern in my mind at all. I would be lying to you, but I don't lie. <laughs> um, Bion, how you feeling? I think you can handle a slurp off. You wouldn't die in one shot to Moonblast, correct? But what would you do to it? Yeah, we're just gonna feud with Ken Cow. If it uses Thunderbolt and kills Ken Cow in a single shot, we all will have learned a valuable lesson. We all will have learned that Slurpuff is the worst Pokemon of all time. <laughs> I'm gonna look at your computer real quick. Look at this. I never even noticed. It's a rather ornate bureau. That's a computer. <laughs> Can I get in this? It's a massive bed. Apparently, I don't fit in a massive bed. What are you trying to tell me, game? Listen, can we not fight you right there? Can we just, like, not do this? That'd be cool. I'm gonna do it! <laughs> Please, Slurpuff, do what the Aromatisse did and use Charm. If you have Thunderbolt, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, you still have a Citrus Berry, yeah? Yeah. Might be a, might be the misplay. Also, you have four Venoshock. That concerns me. Wait, how much is it gonna be? Over half. Energy. I, I knew it had Energy Ball. It learns Energy Ball upon level up. I don't know what you're doing there. Yeah, it must only have fairy and grass moves. Now we know. <laughs> now we know it's not a threat. But Valerie's a threat. Oh. I can't believe we almost lost Kane Cow and Bion today. And Koyopa hits 40. Less training. You get agility. That's cool. How about we know? I'm just say we do. I don't need it. Maybe later or something. Not now. We have Valerie to deal with. And I think we're going to lose Kane Cow and Bion. It sucks to have done so well with them today where we almost avoided their death 
Imagine if she just started the fight. Excuse me. Am I trapped? I, <laughs> you were about to see panic like you've never seen before. <laughs> you were about to see a grown man cry for the 10th time on his channel. Everybody's going, 10? <laughs> you mean 50th? <laughs> oh, man. I don't really feel like fighting Valerie today. I'll tell you the truth, but I missed last episode. I gotta do it. And you know what? If anybody was upset about me missing Tuesday, this is this is to make up for it. So I hope you're happy. I hate this place. This is like really unfortunate. How am I supposed to get out of here? That, that's how you get out of here. Okay, I'll try and remember that path. I probably will not remember it though. We gotta get everybody to the level limit of 40. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna lose them. Mawile Bion. Mr. Mime Bion. Sylveon King Cow. That's the plan. Um. Oh, I'm so good about this. I'm gonna lose King Cow and Bion on the day they survived with, like, in red. I'm disappointed. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and heal up. Get everybody to the level of 40, which, mind you, is two levels lower than Valerie's ace. It's the other two levels lower one. We managed to do this one. Probably should have bumped it to 41, but I don't think it would make that much of a difference. I'm gonna get everybody, everybody up to level 40, and I'll meet you guys back in the gym. I am all trained and ready, and in a new outfit to boot. Let's do this. I figured it was time for a change, and it's going to be a really scary fight. And not as straightforward as you would think at first glance. So I figure this might be a turning point in the chapter of this series. And let's start it off looking our very best. So I got everybody to level 40, and I've been thinking a lot about this fight. I don't feel great about it at all. This is a really scary gym because I don't have a clear-cut option for fairy types. They're weak to steel and they're weak to poison. I don't have anything that can use steel type moves, but I do have a Pokemon that can learn poison type moves. I have a poison type that resists fairy, and I also have a fire type that resists fairy. So it might sound like a dumb attack, but I've been considering using Vakama, and you guys might be surprised to hear that. But Valerie's a female. It's very possible that she has female Pokemon. Meaning we can finally take advantage of Vakama's awful ability in rivalry. She's super effective against her lead in Mawile. Meaning you can one-shot it instantly and then maybe be able to do the same to her other Pokemon as well. The only thing is Mr. Mime and Sylveon are both specially defensive. Meaning... It, it's not the best play, especially considering Vakuma's partner is weak, the fairy. I'm not going to do that. It was a dumb attack. I understand that. But Bion and King Cow are just the best option. Kucha maybe with Koyova. It's just, it's too risky when these two just statistically have the best chance. I'm going to go in with King Cow holding a Citrus Berry and Bion holding a Berry as well. But I want to go ahead and change one thing about them each before we start. I want to give them both a new move. I don't know why I didn't do this a while ago, but I want to give Roost to King Cow. This will be able... I'll be able to heal her past the Citrus Berry if I need. I could have saved her life if she had ended up dying against the Dedenne Trainer. It was a mistake, and I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm never going to use Confuse Ray. Too big of a risk. It's a gamble, and I'd rather have a safer bet in healing. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of Confuse Ray here. And for Bion... He's not very defensive. I want him to have more survivability, and he doesn't have anything to heal himself with. Citrus Berry's not enough. I want to give him rest. This is always a risk, but by giving Bion a Chesto Berry for Chesto Resto, he'll be able to get more recovery than with a Citrus Berry. It's a risk because if you don't pull rest at the exact correct time, it'll do worse for you than a Citrus Berry would have. But I'm confident in him being able to pull rest at any moment possible because of Flame Charge. He'll be faster than anything. And if I feel unsafe and need to pull rest, 
I can do so at any moment and heal back to full. So we're going to get rid of double kick. Um, not using that here and we'll get the move relearner soon. No need to have double kick. And as you can see, he does have a chesto berry. This is it. We've got a new look. And we're going to be going into our sixth gym challenge with the pair that has kind of been leading things since Grant. I added them both after our Cherubi and Ammonite died to Grant. And they have been the leaders ever since. When in doubt, you pull out Bion. When in doubt, you pull out Ken Cow. And they've been there for everything. Just like that gym, gym badge lady said. They've led the pack since I added them for the most part. And this could be their final fight together. This could be their end here in this series. But I believe in them. I believe in myself. And whatever happens, I'm at peace with. And as always, we'll move forward stronger. So, without further ado, there's one more thing that I want to mention really quick. Just real fast. If you guys want to watch more Wedlocks, just like me and Marilyn, um, somebody from my Discord server, one of my friends and moderators, Duncan Ox, actually is making Wedlocks right now. So if you want somebody to watch that makes stuff just like me and Marilyn, go ahead and check him out. I'll try to remember to put a link to his channel in the description. He's doing a black and white two wedlock right now, which is a ton of fun. Just wanted to throw that in there. I was supposed to say it at the start of the video, but I forgot. Anyways, let's jump into this and get started against our sixth gym challenge. Oh, I'm nervous. Let's just do it. Whatever happens, happens. And let's let the cards fall where they may. Hopefully... Our house of cards stays strong, but we can tear Valerie's dollhouse to the ground. Let's do this! Bion is up front, correct? <laughs> I just gotta double check. Okay. Let's go for it! Oh, man. <laughs> oh, if it isn't a young trainer. So you've flown all the way through my gym, fluttering down to me on a fortunate win. Then I suppose you have earned yourself the right to a battle as your award for your efforts. I am Valerie, who leads this fairy-type gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. The elusive fairy-types may appear frail as a breeze and delicate as a balloon, but they are strong. Let's do this! She's correct! It's time for our sixth gym challenge! Versus the fairy-type gym leader! Versus Valerie! Here in Laver City! In the Kalos region! Let's do this, Valerie! First up's her Mawile. It's a Steel Fairy type. Probably a little 39. I don't know. Let's go for it, Bion! Hopefully 39. We'd be at a little bit of an advantage. It's 38. Even better. All right, Bion. All I need from you is to hit this thing as hard as you can with Flame Charge. I also just noticed it doesn't have Intimidate. That's really, really good news. But Spar uh, Flame Charge doing less than half is bad. And it going for Iron Defense is even worse. I didn't expect that. But that might be really good. I've mocked Discharge since I've added it. But it might be what we need to seal Mawile's fate. Bion, hit this thing with a Discharge! Take this Mawile out of here! Yeah, nice work, Bion! Yes! Oh, I'm so excited that that did enough. Mawile has horrible special defense. But these Pokemon do not. Next up's for Mr. Mime. It's a Psychic Fairy type, and it's going to be level 39. All right, so Mr. Mime's the biggest threat on this team. I'm pretty certain her Sylveon has nothing that can hurt King Cow. But Mr. Mime's a Psychic type. If Bion dies to Mr. Mime and King Cow can't one-shot it, King Cow's life will come to an end. She's weak to Psychic. This is Bion's fight to lose. I'm going to make certain that he does not lose this fight for us. Bion, hit this thing with a spark! You have way more attack. This thing has way less defense. Hit it as hard as you can. Over half, but it's gonna go for a flat. Yikes! But that's actually really good. I can't believe Discharge is making the difference. Bion, hit this thing with a Discharge! Get rid of this Mr. Mime! Ah, I knew it. They have so much special defense. And here comes the Psychic. Yuck. Holy crap. Did you see that? <laughs> oh. I gotta think of my play here really carefully. I didn't even think about light screen and reflect. I should have added, like, protect, but I would have gotten rid of discharge, so. Let's see. Do gym leaders heal in this game? 
I'm pretty certain that they don't for some reason. Here's my thing. We're gonna outspeed. If I attack, it dies. If she heals, I got a good attack off and I can rest the next turn. No different than now. So attacking is my best plan of attack. Let's hit this thing with a discharge, Bion. Yeah, she does use hyper potions. You hate to see it. We're not allowed to do that. Why should you? It's fine. It's the rules. Discharge! Paralyze it? Nah. Yikes. Oh, maybe she'll use light screen. Maybe she'll be stupid. It's my only hope. I have to use rest. But this definitely makes the Chesto Berry worse than the Citrus Berry. Because using it right now doesn't really do anything different than a Citrus Berry would, except the fact that I'd be able to take a Psychic while attacking if I had a Citrus Berry. Chesto Resto might get us killed here, but there's nothing I can do other than have Bion take a quick nap. Go to sleep, Bion. Get fully healed and be prepared to take this Psychic that's probably coming your way. If it uses Light Screen, we're in the best case scenario. It's odd how we're ended up... It's ironic, rather, that we're using Rest after we almost lost you guys to Rest. Dazzling Gleam! That's bad, because it's basically just a little bit worse than Psychic. Yeah. This is a big decision for me to make. I think I'm gonna make it. I might just have to be flat out daring here. This could end up turning into travesty. I didn't even teach Poison Jab. It's back up. Do I let Bion's time here come to an end? And get out of this with just losing Bion? Or do I make a move that could save them both? But potentially cause much more massacre than you would have ever expected in this fight. I have to weigh out the pros and cons here. If I attack with Bion and it kills Bion, which is it will happen... Bion can't take nor, neither Psychic nor Dazzling Gleam. He dies if he does not get a critical hit with the Spark. Game over. There's literally nothing I can do. Or, I switch into Kangkow. If it uses Dazzling Gleam, the Reflect will drop and Kangkow... Actually, you have a Citrus Berry. You wouldn't be able to do it. My choice of items killed us here. My decision here could prove fatal for much more than just these two. If I switch into King Cow, and it uses Dazzling Gleam, it's at this point I have to pick who lives. I don't think it's going to matter what I do. One of them's dying no matter what. Unless Bion gets a critical hit with Spark. Which is a gamble you never want to see have to be taken. Wow, this Mr. Mimes hit, hits hard. <laughs> so, if I switch into King Cow, and it uses Dazzling Gleam, Acrobatics would kill if we didn't have an item. Or what if she survives a Psychic? There's no chance in hell, right? It did over half to buy on. Why wouldn't it just straight up? There's, yeah. No, 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 no. Not living that. There's no chance. But if she did, acrobatics would kill Mr. Mime. But then what do we do against Sylveon? We have Roost. That's correct. Um. Oh. Would fly kill? No, there's no way. How much a spark? 65 versus 90. Would fly? No, she could just put up a reflect. We ain't doing that. That's a bad move. <laughs> but she could also put up a reflect. She could also put up light screen. There's so much that can be done here. I have to ask myself the question, is Bion's life potentially worth Kenkao, Kucha, Koyopa, everybody? I don't think so. This is one of those situations where I want to make a move that could be incredible to watch, but it's also something I have to take step a step back on and look at myself and think, is this really a move that I'm willing to take? 
I switch into King Cow, they both die immediately, and then Koyopa, Kucha, Nuku, and Bakuma have to fend off Mr. Mime and Sylveon by themselves with no means to do so. And who knows what happens then. Damn, I don't want to talk myself into this, but I think it's time to say goodbye to Bion. I don't want to talk myself into this. It's disgusting. Oh, Bion! If I just... I can constantly look back on the fact that I did not give him a citrus berry. But what if it mattered? Probably not. He could also paralyze it. He's got a chance. However small it may be. My other play is to use rest. Let the reflect wear off, then switch to Kang Cow and hope it uses reflect. <laughs> Which is just the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. It's not worth it. Kang Cow dies to one psychic. I know what I need to do. Damn! This this hurts! But I know in this situation the risk does not outweigh the potential reward. It's like saying goodbye to a friend. You know it's gonna happen. As soon as you click that button, it's over. The reflect is up. I got a discharge, right? Yeah. I have to. It could paralyze. But see, my hang up here, critical hit discharge, no kill. Critical hit spark, kill, and it's over. Put it onto the crit or put it onto the paralysis. At this point, it's a gamble, and I'm going to take the one that could be the sure thing. Bion? It was a lot of fun using you, but... I want to be certain that if I do this, Kang Cow makes it out alive. How would she not? Fly would kill after a spark. Fly would kill after a discharge. I have to do the most optimal play. But Fly won't kill if it uses Reflect again. Venoshock a kill. But if it uses light screen, it won't. But if it uses light screen, the Bion lives if it uses discharge. Okay, I'm gonna use discharge. And hope for the best. Goodbye, Bion. Yes! Please! No. <sighs> we got the chance we needed and it didn't work. Bion, you did incredible, buddy. You allowed King Cow to see another day. That was your purpose. And you fulfilled it well. If it stayed paralyzed, Bion would have done it. Oh, that's going to haunt me forever. We can look back on this forever. He did his absolute best. It's not his fault Mr. Mime didn't hit, well, hit through. It's not his fault. <sighs> the move I make right here is disgustingly terrifying. Fly is a chance to miss, but it's a guaranteed knockout. Acrobatics is not gonna do it. I mean, it should actually. Acrobatics should do it. I'm not, yeah, I'm gonna use Acrobatics. I'm not using Venoshock. They have too much special defense. I know it does more, but look at Kang Kao's special de special attack and its special defense. It's not necessary. It's not. It's not a good. Not a good move. <laughs> Acrobatics is gonna do more, even though it's less power. I'm certain. And sparked it over half, and it's only ten power higher. This and this should do it. I don't care if she has an item or not. Don't let what Bion did be for nothing, Kang Kao. Good. Hang out lives to see another day. <sighs> I can't believe he got the paralysis and then it hit through. Oh, it's gonna haunt me forever. The what if? The what if is something you can say ever. just wasn't meant to be. <sighs> Perfect. That's it for Valerie. 
hit this thing with an acrobatics. Nice work, King Cow. <sighs> protect would have made... There's so much that could have happened. Like, no protect, no rest. Uh, protect over rest with a citrus berry. He lived. But I thought outside the box. And it might have been a little bit too far outside. I did what I needed to do. Bion did what he needed to do, and while it didn't save his life, it made certain that his partner King Cow would live to see another day. The sun will shine tomorrow, Valerie. And it'll all be for Bion. Oh! <sighs> There's the fairy badge! Six down. Only two to go. Oh, man. Everybody, just with me right now. One last time. Oh, one last time, everybody. Say it with me. <laughs> For the most part, it was handled brilliantly. Like, Chesto Resto's not a bad call. I never anticipated that Psychic would do that much damage. I figured it would do, like, just a tad less than half, and I'd be able to squeak out so much more HP. And I wasn't even thinking about Reflect and Light Screen, honestly. Had I done so, Protect would have been a much better move. Yeah. Because I just Protect in between turns, Reflect would have got stalled, Spark would have ended it. Game over. But... <sighs> so Discharge was kind of like a blessing and a curse there. It helped me take down... Uh... And I know I could have thought Thunderbolt. I get it. Not a special attacker. I only did it for like horde battles and double battles and stuff. <laughs> Oh, Bion. Man, what a wild episode. Bion and King Cow almost died together. King Cow barely survived. And at the end of the episode, Bion ended up dying while King Cow got to see another day. Really weird series of events, but honestly, I wouldn't change anything about it. It's what happened. And we'll be saying goodbye to Bion in the next episode. But for now, we're going to need a mail for Ken Cow. Once again, the mails. Hi, guys. <laughs> um, What do I even need? <laughs> like, I have no idea. A ground type's not horrific. Gondol could be cool. I'm trying to think the problem there. Like, not great. I'm going to think about it a lot. I want a really powerful pair moving forward. Um, obviously, no shared weaknesses. Ideally, no fighting type weakness, because every pair would have a fighting type weakness. And the Frost Cavern's coming up. Don't be dumb. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll come up with something. There's a lot of fighting type weaknesses in this box. No psychic type weakness, no fairy weakness. Well, no... Uh, no psychic weakness, no electric weakness. Nothing that shares with Ken Cow, obviously. I did say if anything happened to Bion, Espada's there. It's probably what's going to end up happening. I think somebody called that. Bion's going to end up dying midway, and then you'll add Espada. It's possible. It's the best option in the PC by far at first glance, but... Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, regardless of what happened, and... It was a nice welcome back to the wedlock after a small hiatus of one episode. We got a new look. We'll move forward stronger as we always do, and we'll deal with it. I like how the story of this wedlock's unfolding, even if it's not exactly going my way in a lot of places, but that's a wedlock. You can't write it. You don't know what's going to happen, and whatever does happen, happens. So... Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, of course, a like means the world. And a comment down below also goes a long way. And 
and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I want to see more like this in the future. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time when we say goodbye to Bion, add a new member, and take on the Pokeball Factory. Until then, I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching.